Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, I'm going to shoot a video. Uh, it's been easily over two months. I think last one I video I would have made was like in March. Um, and I actually think I made a video in April or May. Yeah, it's been over two months, actually. And um, it just went really long. And um, I don't know. I just kind of was rambling. So I just ended up deleting it. And anyway, but... Some of the games from that video, I ended up keeping some, like some of the best ones, and then some of the just average games, I just put them in my shelf, and I'm not going to mention about them, but uh, I got some DVDs, um, I bought this, my birthday was in May, and um, I just splurged and bought that, because I never, there's like a handful of movies that like I just have been really wanting for like a good two or three years, and Sometimes if I can't find them, I'll just buy them. So I think I spent like nine or ten dollars for that. Uh, brand new. Uh, they live. It's a pretty good John Carpenter's movie. Um, I I like uh, Big Trouble in Little China and The Thing. Um, and then Escape from New York. Those those three are really good. Um, Avengers Endgame, I was actually kind of surprised that that was there. Um, this, these four were at a pawn shop that I like to go to. I hadn't gone to that pawn shop for months because of the quarantine. Um, but it, every movie that they sell is 50 cents, so I got that game, that movie for 50 cents. Faster, haven't seen in a while. Um, that was a decent, uh, Dwayne Johnson movie. Um, Ip Man 2... I've only seen the first two of those movies, and then I never stuck with... They made a whole bunch. They made at least, like, five, I think, so far. I think they're done. And then uh, the Castlevania, I was really surprised by that, because I heard that that's a really good series. Um, I looked on all their shelves to see if, the, like, the first season was mixed in somewhere, but I couldn't find it, so... I'm not sure what was up with that. A lot of times, if somebody, like, wants to get rid of their stuff to make some money, they usually... It would make sense that they might have season one and season two, but it wasn't there. Uh, some games, lots of games. Um, I, I got the uh, game called Remnant from the Ashes and uh, Greedfall. Both are games that would have not gotten as much attention as a lot of mainstream AAA games, but both um, have some unique qualities to, to each of them. Um, I actually think I put more time in Greedfall. Um, for some reason, I just got involved with some other games and I, I, I stopped playing it. It's still in my Xbox One, but I haven't played it for probably like a good week or two. Uh, it's a good action RPG. Reminds me a lot like Mass Effect. Um, it's a very ambitious game. Of these two, I think I probably would recommend that one a little bit more. Um, Remnant was okay. I think I might have played that one or two times. Um, it's not not a horrible game, but uh, these three I haven't put any time into yet. But this was, um, as you can see, the stickers from GameStop. It was one of those deals they had where if you yeah if you were going if you could get games uh, nineteen ninety nine or lower, it was they were fifty percent off. It some GameStop's just having some really weird sales that. Well, not weird, but, like, stuff that would be good to take advantage of. So I got Tuki Den 2. I have Tuki Den Kiwami. Uh, Gravity Rush 2 and uh, God Eater 3. I'm, I'm just trying to pick up um, a lot of neat niche games that um, might get hard to find later on down the road. Um, so all these games were 50% off. Um... It's just one of them. I forget how many you could have. I got a bunch of 3DS games that were around 20 bucks too. Um, but as you can see, this is the, the these are cases I got, um, which didn't really bother me. I care a lot more that these are um, in the original cases um, because a lot of these I might end up just putting in, putting the the discs. I'm sorry, the, uh, the little cartridges in like a little baggie, and um, that's just how I store them. So not having the cases is not the end of the world, especially if I could get like a Mario Party game for like 10 bucks. And I got two copies of Super Smash Brothers because it was like crazy. Um, this was like on that sale 
it was marked down to like twelve ninety nine, so it was like half of that. So like six fifty for um, two copies of Smash Brothers. I gave one to my my little boy, and he liked it. Um, what else did I get? This uh, Heroes of Ruin game is kind of like a dungeon crawler. I played that for just like one night. Uh, and then Mario Golf was another one. Um, uh, I'll go with this. Um, I picked up the uh, Resident Evil clone called Daymare. Uh, mine came with this uh, Black Edition uh, case. Which is just amazing that this game even got the uh, treatment that it did. Um, it's a little rough around the edges. I only played it once, but when I did play it uh, that one time, I played it for like an hour or two. Uh, I just end up getting so many games that um, I get so many so sidetracked. Um, but um, it what didn't cost that much, and um, yeah, this just came in the other day, actually yesterday, I think. Um, Ease Memories of Celseta. This was a Vita game that was ported recently just this week actually and then it came in the mail I had bought this uh, a while ago and I pre-ordered it I think yeah uh, I just know how ease games end up holding their value like if you look on the ease games for PSP like you can't find those games for like 20 bucks so uh, I, I love this series um, it's a series that I've I've discovered later in my adult life it wasn't something that I ever got to play when I was younger uh, but they're awesome games uh, especially if you like fast-paced RPGs um, I saw Johnny Millennium the happy console gamer did a little quick review of this and because I think he likes ease a lot um, bunch of uh, switch games I'm trying to keep them in or organized by their console. Um, I got Blossom Tales from Limited Run. Darksiders Genesis was a GameStop deal of the day and I ended up I ended up getting the Switch version and the PlayStation 4 version just because I, I just really enjoy top down uh, beat em up type games. The, the one character you can play you can play the game kind of like a twin stick shooter so uh, I mean, the deal of the day was like really surprisingly low. Um, I think the game was originally forty bucks earlier this year, and then the deal of the day price was like fifteen ninety nine. And so what I did was I ended up using my five dollar coupon for one month. I ended up getting it for well, like eleven or twelve dollars for the one copy, and then the next month they had the same game deal of the day. I guess they're just trying to get get them out of their store uh, and I ended up using another $5 coupon for <clears throat> the other version just because I, I know there's some games that I I have been doing that where I get them I get double two copies of them uh, anyway other games uh, Blossom Tales like I said really good game I bought that digitally um, last summer and then lo and behold they ended up printing it physically um, but I still really like it. I really liked it. If you like Link to the Past, it's a it's a decent game. I like the the music's really good too. Uh Call of Juarez Gunslinger, if you've never played that game, um you should give it a try. Although, um yeah, like I know that that's horrible to support that, but this game is just so good. Um I originally played it on my computer and it is so much better with a keyboard and mouse. Because you can line up, it's it's a first person shooter, but you can line up the shots so much nicer. It is basically like, um, it, it is a unique first person shooter that has a great storyline. And it, it, it's just something that you should try to play and experience at some point. Um, Bloodstained uh, Ritual of the Night I got last year on my PlayStation 4. And then this year, just this spring, um, on one of the one of the night, one of the days I went to Walmart to pick up stuff with my mask on, um, they had it marked down for nineteen dollars. 
They're they're clearancing it out, but they're not clearancing it low. It's not like they're it's not like you can find it for five dollars. But um, I figured for like twenty bucks to to play a game that's kind of like Castlevania on my Switch, and then also have it on my TV for my PlayStation Four is another great game to double dip. Um, I actually that's the game that I'm playing right now. I play it like an hour every night before bed, and it's it was a lot of fun last June I think when I played it, and it's it's been fun again um to just kind of know what i'm doing and then just re replay it um this game i just got i've been waiting for this game to come down in price for easily over a year now this is a dual game it's uh child of light and the uh valiant hearts it's a ubisoft like double pack um i can't remember if this is exclusive to best buy or if i'm wrong but um I have both of these games. I have this on the Vita, and I have this on my computer, uh, on my Steam account. And both of them are really great games, but it was $19.99, and it's just more convenient to play it on a system that like, I actively have ready to go, um, rather than trying to get my computer to work, and that thing's not the most reliable now. Um, some PlayStation 4 games, uh, like I said, Darksiders Genesis. Uh, I have yet to play the PlayStation 4 version, but um, I, I had, I think I played with, with the Switch version that I was playing. I, they're, they're like chapters. I think I played like three or four chapters so far. Each chapter varies in length. Some of them are like 20, 30 minutes. I think others might be a little bit longer. Uh, the bottom two I just recently got because they marked them down. Uh, Sony does um, some sale. I think they did the same exact sale last June. I can't remember in years past beside, beyond that. But if you want to buy some of their greatest hits, their PlayStation Hits games, they're currently $9.99. If you buy them at GameStop pre-owned, they are $8.99 right now. Um, but you might as well just buy it brand new and... If you get it, get it from Amazon or maybe Target or something, and it'll be sealed. Um, but um, I'm playing this right now. Um, I played this um, years ago on PlayStation Three, and then just like two or three summers ago, I beat it. I don't know. I don't know why I I never beat it the first time when I originally got it years ago. Um, but I just had the desire to replay a Naughty Dog game. And, uh, I mean, I know that Last of Us 2 is coming out, but, um, I don't know. i played Uncharted so many times that, like, it's like I want to experience those games that they create, but um, you, can only, you can only replay some of these games so many times before it gets kind of like you know everything that's going to happen. There's only like a handful of games that like I that that doesn't bother me. And I'll just keep playing them. Um, some of them are the Resident Evil games, actually. So, Resident Evil Three. This is the one game I got. Heck, I don't even remember that it came out in March or April. I think April. But um, absolutely love that game. Um, it got a lot of negativity when it first came out, but um, I absolutely adore it. Um, anybody that's talked to me about my opinion about these newer Resident Evil games, I think that what would be amazing is if like Capcom released like a double pack where you got Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 and if you just like saw both of those games as like a continuation or like if they would have created like a campaign for all four people that, that are involved with both games and make it all as one, I know that that would be stupid because then they can't profit off of you know, making two games, and that's not how things were created back in the late 90s, but, um, I can't remember when Resident Evil 3 came, did that come out in 99 or 2000? Anyway, um, really enjoyed this game, um, I could see myself replaying, replaying these games a lot. I actually, after I got done playing Resident Evil 3, I played Resident Evil 2, and it just, like, I don't know. I just wanted to compare and contrast both, and it's it's they, that whatever team Capcom had to create that those two games, they did a phenomenal job. Uh, what else? All right. Um, this is um, I'm not trying to brag 
with with these but um I'm trying to think if I got more I think I do have some more hang on yeah sorry um Okay, so these are uh, Walmart games that are on clearance, and um, I use a couple forums that people talk about when Walmart is getting rid of certain games, and when if you go go looking for certain games, you might be able to get lucky and find them at a lower price. A lot of times, they aren't advertised, except in that regard, which is so odd that that worked out for me because if you see a game that low you would think like even if you're a soccer mom and you think like hey my kid might like that it's cost two dollars what, what's what's it gonna hurt but a lot of times they might put these stickers on and they're even cheaper um so like let me let me say here um this fantasy life game it says 39.96 but it rang up as three dollars um and so sometimes I think managers of these these different departments will you know set up a where the the pricing drastically drops like a percentage like out maybe possibly I, I don't know obviously they're not trying to advertise it but they are trying to get rid of things so if you are wise enough and you investigate and research enough and I use a website called BrickSeek and I, if you use the Walmart app, it kind of, if you compare and contrast, a lot of times, like, it'll tell you that they, the game's there. It's just that employees might not be the best people to talk to as far as finding things. So sometimes I've been lucky, sometimes I haven't. Most times I haven't. But it's all about just, you know, being persistent. And sometimes if I just have to go to a store, I choose to go to a Walmart. I know my wife chooses Target, but um, I'll, I'll just, you know, kind of investigate as I'm saying I'm going to buy some things and I'm, I'm in the in the electronics area for like 15 20 minutes uh, okay other others um, this was nine dollars this was nine dollars uh, Metroid was 11 11 for Monster Hunter stories these Zelda games were down to five so they marked as 13 but they rang up as 5 bucks. Um the Contra game like I said is 2 and then Rocket League was I was just shocked when I saw that as 9. I was like, "Man, that's that's like awesome. I'll I'll buy that for 9." And then when it rang up, it was like 6 or 7 bucks, which is like crazy. Um I already have this for PlayStation 4, but like I would love to be able to just play this as a game that like I play right before bed and while I'm getting ready to go to bed and I have my switch there or play it you know when I take it somewhere and I don't have my PlayStation 4 that's a great investment for six or seven dollars uh, a couple of these games I'm not gonna lie I, I might end up trying to get rid of it at some point especially considering that I have many copies of, of Orcarina of Time um, but if I just hold on to them sealed they're um, Somebody will want them down the road. Uh, I, I forgot. There was one more. And this was surprising. So, they had, there was a Walmart that had uh, Sonic Mania Plus. That was also $9. Um, if you look these up, it's actually crazy how much these have gone up in demand because they stopped making these. They, they reprinted, I think... Um, the regular standard versions but they did not keep printing those so I think those are going up in demand uh, people aren't paying pretty high prices for those but um, anyway uh, hope this uh, hope you're doing well and I will try to end this video that way it doesn't go too too much longer here thanks see ya